What's up, y'all? It's your boy P. Lot, aka the Brick Slinger. And guess what? Your boy got something to say. Uh, not too long ago, I did a video speaking about body positivity. This will be considered part two, or the continuation of body positivity. One thing for sure, we need to keep this in mind. Anybody can be attracted to anything. Everybody is practically attracted to something. Not everybody, and let's keep it a buck, not everybody is going to be attracted to just, a, you know, a skinny body, a thick body, or even a fat body. Let's keep it a buck. Not everybody is attracted to everything. And for the body positivity whole situation is to promote all body shapes. All types of body shapes. It's understandable. It really is understandable. I don't agree with everything. I just know for one thing. I just know one thing for sure. To say that you want people to respect your body shape it's, it look good on paper but in reality it's no more than just a tolerant uh, policy it's, it's, it's making it's want to make folks to just accept it no matter what but here's the thing I did not mention on the, on the, on the previous video One thing for sure that women should know if they haven't know already is that every every type of dude can appreciate certain types of women's shape. And sometimes it can even go further than lust. Further to lust. Because let's keep let's keep this in mind. Remember when Jesus said if you look at a woman out of lust, you'll commit an adultery in your heart. So even when we're trying to shame a, a woman's shape, if she's out of shape, there's another set of dudes that are willing to uh, 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 not just tolerate, but appreciate a woman that is out of shape. A woman that is overweight, a woman that is obese. And them type of dudes will even take even further to lust. It got it can get to the point where they can have a sexual ideal of what they would do to a woman that is fat, that is obese, that is overweight. It's not just the 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 the, the average standard of a woman's shape. Any shape can be attractive. Any shape can be lust after. Believe it or not, we're, we keep forgetting that we still have a sinful nature in us that will make even the most ridiculous stuff beautiful. The most disgusting thing in the world, the most tabooish thing in the world can be to somebody attractive. However, just because it looks good doesn't mean it's good for you. That's why I will encourage any young lady that is all about that body positivity to take care of themselves, but to also protect themselves too. Because just because you see someone like Lizzo wearing provocative outfits doesn't mean it's a wise thing. So what if you grew up on the, the Cardi B's and in, in the, in the Megan Thee Stallion? Even if you grew up in the Foxy Brown and Lil' Kim face um, era, that's where I'm from. That's where I grew up on. Even before that. It still don't change the, change the fact that, well, once again, men want a particular woman. And, 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 and believe it or not you're going to have to deal with the fact that men want something the men that you want want something and if we literally keep it a buck 
We can talk about Lizzo all day, every day, but let's keep this in mind. This woman is exercising. This woman is doing the workout. Even if her body shape doesn't change, the fact that she has a have developed a momentum and a stamina to do the shows, the duration of the shows that she's doing lets you know that she's putting in the work, whether it's, it's being glorified or not. Whether it's being glorified or not, let's keep it a buck. But at the same time, let's also keep this in mind. There are some dudes that find women like Lizzo attractive and sexy. Let's keep it all the way above. There are... Well, let's, let's not keep it above. But let's keep it all the way above. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let's not keep it above, but let's keep it all the way above. Meaning, let's not... Let's, let's stop lying to ourselves. There are... There are literally some beautiful big women. There are some BB dub that are beautiful. They're cute. They are pretty. Their shape sometimes takes away the beauty. If we keep it a buck. But like I say, there are guys that do find that sexy. And even if I hear folks talking about well, those guys, they have no choice. That's stupid. <laughs> Them dudes they have choices. And especially black dudes who would choose a big woman. And even if she's not even if she's not black, he'll go for that. No matter what y'all say, a a bro will like a sister that's got some meat on her bones. But if it's obvious that he'll go to the woman that is white, that is out of shape, that lets you know it's more to it. It's deeper to it. It's the whole heart situation. It's the whole character situation. You want to know what can make it even worse? Is when the whole... I'm going I'm to go ahead and say it. Even if you watch porn, you know there are dudes that's watching women that are obese and out of, out of shape, overweight, all that stuff getting ran through. Because porn is literally like the fantasy on display. It's like the taboo on display. And I'm not encouraging folks to watch porn. I'm just saying, you can't tell me that big women are not are not attract are not attractive. You can say they're the least attractive, but you can't say they're not attractive. And the suck part is there are women that goes to the gym faithfully. They may not be the side, be the Kardashian size. They may not be the Megan Thee Stallion side. They may not be the Cardi B side. But they go to the gym. They putting in the work. They sweating it out. And if we want to talk about body positivity, that should be the, the motivation right there. But we don't want to talk about that. We want to, we want to display freedom without the responsibility. We want to act, we want to make a move and don't deal with the consequences. That includes our health. And one thing I will always say, ladies, this ain't about being just fit. It's all, it's, it, if anything, it's about being healthy. Sure, we, sure, as men, we will love a fit, feminine, friendly woman. But if we can't get one out of three, at least the one that is that is the most should be an acquirement of, of something else. If we can't get a fit, we need someone healthy. 
But saying that as a man, saying that people, period, no matter what gender you are, is a problem. Why? Because the minute you say, when did you say, man, oh man, miss, you, we will, you should be healthy. It's automatically a, 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 fit, a fat shame, which doesn't make sense. But we, but for some reason, we're living in a time of day where people will rather fat shame you and fit shame you than just to say, you know what? For the sake of my health, I need to do something. I need to take better care of myself. Because let's face it, women will want men to do that for themselves. They don't want a fat dude and they'll say it with passion, boldness. They want a man who is who doesn't have whatever the case may be. Now there may be some women that like dad bots. But majority of women, they want the six pack. They want the John Cena. They want the Terry Crews. They want Chris Evans. You know what I'm saying? They want Thor. <laughs> But a man to say that they want a particular body, a particular, they want the the, the, the Gabriel, let's put it, they want the Chloe, they want the Haley. Saying that is a problem. It's backwards. But, you know, but like I said earlier, everybody got, everybody can find something attractive. Everybody finds something attractive. The problem is, and once again, in our sinful nature, We'll find the most disgusting thing and make it make it make something beautiful out of it. That's why when you're in Christ, your view of people be different. You don't look at a person sexually or just sexually. You don't look at a person lustfully. You look at a person as what God really created them as the, as is. Now the journey of character, the journey of his likeness, that's if that's if a person want to be close to him enough to move like him or move the way he moves. But at the end of the day, you have a choice. And every choice have a consequence. Choose ye that choose ye this day whom you will serve and choose ye this day how you will take care of yourself. But that's just me. If you like what you heard, there's a like button. If you dislike what you heard, there's a dislike button. Comment. Give me your two cents. And you can disagree. But as long as you're not disrespectful, it's all, you're all right with me. Subscribe. Share this video. Let's continue this conversation. Until then, it's your boy p Light, a.k.a. The Bracelinger. Go check out Man of the Construction. It's on iTunes. Amazon, Spotify, Title, YouTube Music, etc. As always, continue to sharpen one another. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Laborers.